I'm Josh Mori, Atlantic Kyushu and Jiu Jitsu. I'm Sensei Malo of Atlantic Kyushu and Jiu Jitsu. We're going to show you a two hito technique and arm bar technique. Now, this particular arm bar you've seen probably in a lot of places. I'm going to show you how we apply Kyushu and just good body mechanics to it. So, he's going to work this from grabbing behind. You know, maybe it's a situation where I need to get walked out of the club, or maybe it's just where this guy's going to be trying to take me somewhere and I don't want to go. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is turn it to him, give him a distraction and put my thumb on triple arm 11. Not necessarily use the Q show point, but use a thumb wrist entry to help me turn the arm over. Also the reason I want to turn into it, grab, because here, with my arm like this, I really have no strength. On here, I have strength, okay? So he's gonna grab, I'm gonna turn, hit, roll it over, go to the lock. Now if you come in closer, triple arm 11, when you use it by itself, rubbing motion right behind the arm, it does a great job of, of releasing the joint. But I don't want to rely on just Q-Show. You've got to rely on good body mechanics first. If I come here and I don't use the point, I just press, resist. He can resist really well. Then. What I want to do is use my body mechanics, use the hip motion. Okay, body versus arm instead of arms versus arm. Okay, so we put it all together. He grabs, I hit, I turn it over, I lock it in. From there, you can do whatever kind of follow-up you want to do. Turn it, hit. And if you want to follow up a little bit more fun, you can uh, apply it to other uh, locks and bolts, you know? It's like really something bad. And that's an arm bar using two shell and button. Mm -hmm.